welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be 10 things that I can't live without. Um, before I get started with the disclaimer and kind of more things, I have a couple updates for you guys. Um, first of all, I've got a big video project situation going on in my room right now. So, and it can't come out for a while because I have to, you know, get some stuff for it. So, um, I'm going to try not to show my room as much in a lot of videos. So, I probably will be filming in my other areas of my house, like here and here, which you guys have seen a lot. Um, because I do like filming in this room and just trying not to show my room as much. I'm going to try my best, but if somehow you guys get a sneak peek, I, I don't know what to do. We'll deal with that when that video comes. But... Um, yeah, and then, uh, I think that's it, actually. I think that's it. Okay, so now, the quick disclaimer. When I say 10 things that I can't live without, this does not include my pets and my family members and, like, my car, you know, like, I mean, I obviously can't drive yet, but, like, those things aren't really included because, obviously, eventually when I get my license, I'm gonna want a car to drive around it, and, you know, like, that would be added, but I don't need it right now, but... You know, and obviously my family and pets, I obviously can't live without them. But these are like physical things that I cannot live without and we're going to go ahead and get started. The first thing that I said I could not live without would be my vlog camera slash my main channel camera because I use it for everything. My Canon G7X. Um, I said that because A, it lets me film videos for you guys, which is like means so much to me. And you guys mean so much to me. So they all just kind of, you know, connect. So that's why that is like my number, well, not my number one, actually. These aren't in order, FYI. Um, they are not in order at all, but it is definitely one of my top, you know, obviously my top ten can't live without. So I just, yeah. Okay. Mm Next thing um, I put was my water bottle. Um, not necessarily this specific water bottle, but just a water bottle. Because I am working on drinking water more and more and more. And I honestly, like, it keeps me so refreshed throughout the day. So I definitely need a water bottle. But right now, I just am using this pink Hydra Flask. I know, basic. Um, but I just kind of covered it in stickers. Like, I have one that says, athlete plus artist equals dancer. Which is super fun. And just some fun ones that I like that make me happy. And it, it keeps it cold and it gives me water. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with this. The next thing is a more of a symbolic type thing, but I brought out my record, my Billie Eilish record. Um, the reason I brought this out is just music in general. Um, I'm a dancer, as you know, and I couldn't do the things that I love if it wasn't for music. Um, I could dance to silence, but honestly, it would not be as fun. So I definitely could not live without music, but this is one of the records I have, so I thought I would just bring it to represent music. The next thing I brought out was this planner. And again, like this, it could be any planner. Um, I'm very specific about way, the way I want my planners to look, which I can kind of show you. I like this planner a lot. It's one of my favorite ones. I got it for my birthday, I'm pretty sure, my 16th birthday, from my cousin. I'm trying to show you. Um, yeah, we'll go, we'll go to December, just because I have a lot of secret video plan planage in here as well but it kind of is just so perfect in all aspects um okay well that didn't want to focus but basically we have two pa like these pages that have just the entire month and then after that it has like separated by weeks which is really nice um just to kind of plan out like more you know because you can't really fit everything in just a small little box so you can kind of add more to your day um, that way, which I really, really like because a lot of planners do them really differently and I like this planner a lot. I need to get a new one before December, but we're, we're going to get there and we're going to get a new one. Kind of debating, I'm getting a couple of different planners right now and I just, I don't know what to do, but if you guys have any, have any like good planner suggestions, please comment them down below because I'm in need of a new planner soon. Okay, on to the next thing I brought was... I know, okay, this is, again, again, this is basic, this is very basic of me, but this is my Cankin, um, it's just the little mustard color, when I bought it, I was obsessed with this color, and it's still, like, really cute, and still very me, um, but I'm, I was really obsessed with this color, it's very dirty now, like, my, it's so dirty, 
But every time I like go for a sleepover or I'm just like going somewhere that I need to like bring a lot a large amount of stuff, but like you know, mostly sleepovers or like if I'm going to spend the night at my dad's for like one night or anywhere really where I would just need to pack multiple things. Or like I use this for picnics and stuff too. I genuinely just go straight for this bag. Not only because it's like my it's like this, okay, it's either I grab this bag or my school backpack, which is still full of school stuff. So this one has literally been a lifesaver for me, and I owe it all to my uncle who bought it for me. Um, he's not really my uncle, he's my dad's best friend, but I'm, he gave me the money for it. And I thank him a lot because this is literally everything. Um, okay, we're going to do another thing that's a little bit more, I don't know, kind of like the first one, I guess. I don't know why, I just have my attachment to my cameras. So this one is my photography camera. It is what got me in love with photography and, well, not got me in love with photography. I got this because I love photography. But I've just been obsessed with like the media after I started using my camera and become obsessed with photography. And I love it and if I ever broke, I think I would literally die. Um, and then my uncle, who also really is it, my uncle is one of my dad's friends, um, got me this little this one so i don't know what is really on it it's like got like a weird painting on it um it's very cute and fun and colorful but it was either this or the one that says canon on it so yeah and it, they're literally i love too that my cam my photography camera and my vlog camera are the same brand which is nice um but yeah this camera is the canon rebel canon Rebel T6. That's this camera. I love it. Um, the next thing that I brought out were the my Converse. I've been wearing these all the time. Like, every time I'm looking for an outfit, like, and I don't know what shoes to wear, I always go to these. I don't know why, which is very strange because I... These are not the best if you're going to take really long walks. They're not the best shoes. But they look good with everything, and they go so well with everything. And, you know, I don't have a pair of Air Force Ones yet. So these are like my go-to white sneakers that would just like work really well with everything that I have and that I wear So these are my go-to's The next thing that I have is my wallet and I swear if something happens to this wallet I would die, but it's staying in pretty good condition right now um, But yeah, this is my wallet. I use it for you know, as my wallet um, and I probably won't really ever change it unless I get Unless something happens. Um, let me explain a little bit. This wallet means so much to me. My great grandma, Gigi, she's like in her 90s currently. Like she's like kind of losing it a little bit. But she is, she means the world to me. She writes stories and she's just like honestly like so pure and so amazing. And I love her so much. But we got, she got me for Secret Santa one year and she got me this wallet. And she literally insisted on going to the mall her, like with my grandpa obviously. But she would literally insist on going to the mall herself to pick it out for me and to pick out something for me. And she picked out this wallet and it is honestly my favorite thing. It's so perfect. Reminds me of the cute little couch, but it's like such a good color and it's got like these little star like indent. Like the indent part is like little white stars and it's so cute and it's literally my favorite and I'm never going to change out. I'm never going to switch wallets unless somehow it gets a little ruined and I can't risk it anymore or... I don't know, but I'm literally, it's like my favorite thing and I just could never get rid of it. Okay, so the next thing is kind of cliche, but honestly this whole video is a little, a little, I don't know, basic. But I said my bed. Um, I literally don't know, like obviously I don't know what I'd do without my bed. Um, but I'm just very blessed to have my bed, I guess. Like there's a lot of people in the world that don't have beds. They sleep on the floor or they sleep outside and all that kind of stuff and it just hurts me. So I'm very blessed to have my bed and I just love to sleep in general and just stay in my bed all day. But I brought this pillow from my bed. My dad got it for me. Um, so this is my representation of my bed because it's from my bed. My dad got me this pillow for Valentine's Day and um, yeah, it's very good and fluffy and I like it. So yeah. Okay, so the last thing that I put um, also has a lot of like other little significant things within it, but I said my laptop, which also was for a birthday present for my 13th birthday or 
think it's like my 13th or 14th or something. I don't remember. It was like eighth grade. I remember because I kept telling my dad that I was like, I need a laptop for my eighth grade project because my my middle school was doing an eighth grade project for all the eighth graders, you know? And I was making a website, so I was like, I need my computer, a computer so I can like do everything on there and keep it all saved. And he got me one and I'm so happy about it because I've been using it forever. Um, but I just, I'm obsessed with this laptop. And there's really nothing special about it, but it's kind of cute. I've got like this marble top. I can't get this off the case part because I got the bottom part off. I can't get this top one off. So it's just kind of stuck that way unless I can get it off. And then I'll, if I can get it off, I'll probably buy a new one. Um, and if I do, I'll probably show you guys at some point. But, um, and then I've got like a couple like Brandy Melville stickers on here. And one, this is Malibu. Don't know why. Just liked it. Um, chilling since 1993. Um, and then Fun in the Sun Malibu. I don't know why, I just like them, I just put them there. But the reason like my laptop means so much to me is because A, I could not live without my Netflix or being able to watch, the ability to watch YouTube, Netflix, any of those things because I, my anxiety gets so bad that I just like have to like zone out and like watch something. So my laptop has given me the ability to do that. My laptop also gives me the ability to edit all my YouTube videos for you guys. So, this laptop, y'all wouldn't be watching this if, if it wasn't for this laptop, so be very happy. Okay, well, well, those 10 things, interesting. Um, anyways, I guess that's it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up. I hope it was interesting. I saw this trend around. I saw a bunch of people actually doing this video, and I thought I would give it a try, and it was really cool to kind of see, like, what things I would genuinely, like, would die if I did not have. I mean, I wouldn't actually die, honestly. I probably could live with all, without all of these things, but they all mean so much to me, and I really don't know what I would do if I didn't have them. So, yeah. Anyway, please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe if you haven't already. You check out all my social medias in the description. My Instagram, my TikTok, my YouTube TikTok, my photography Instagram will also be linked down below. Please give it a thumbs up, and subscribe. You know, all that jazz I already told you, but I'm just going to you know, refresh your brain a little bit. Um... Last but not least, have a good day, have a good night, have a good evening, or whatever you're watching this. Bye!